tēnā koe, ko Tainui te waka, ko Ngāti Mani Poto te iwi, ko Ngāti Huakai te hapu, ko Miriana Barak tōko ingoa. I think the first question is why should, should people come along to Te Pairoa 2040? I think it's always important for us to remember where we came from. So if we think the first conference started in 1984, and that was mediated by Sir Hepi Tehuhu. And what happened too is when we think of that time period, there was a huge amount of uh, pan-tribal conflict. And, and what that conference did, it set the foundation for where we are today. Uh, I think for me the saddest thing is that uh, in 1984, uh, it, even from 30 years, a lot of our leaders have passed. And so that's, it's always good to go back to remember what our past was. Uh, the next question uh, was, you know, you know really, what's, what's in it for me? Well, I thought I'd turn, turn it around and tell you what's in it for me, um, myself personally. I think, too, is that you know, we're the generation um, that have seen the last 30 years, with most of you, like myself, watched on the side and thought we'll leave it up to our aunts and to our uncles. And I think the frightening thing for me now is that you're looking at, to the left and to the right and saying, well, we are the next leaders, whether we want to be the next leaders or not. So I think what the conference is uh, in it for all of us um, is that it gives us time to to sit back and to reflect and also this moi moi are of where we want to go to in 2040. Uh, so yeah, so that's that's really really what's it in for all of us. Um, the question you asked was, you know, what is the, the significance of Te Pai 2040? Well, I think again. Um, it's about always understanding, you know, looking at the past and where did, where did we come from 30 years ago, uh, where are we today, and what did our leaders provide for us? Well, again, they provided for us a foundation for us to leap from. So here we are, they've given us 30 years, and the most frightening thing for us now is for us to take control of that, to step up to the mark and take a leadership role of uh, where we should be. Uh, I think the, the strength with the Paidor a conference is that it's future. It's very future focused. Uh, you know the discussions looking at EV development and uh, whānau well-being. Uh, there's a balance between economic, social, cultural, and environmental management. Uh, I'm an accountant, and I think the strength for me is the privilege to actually be there for uh, you know accounting uh, to be acknowledged. And I think the debate is for everyone to come around the table and to debate that. Uh, what I'm looking forward to is for uh, Māori businesses or Māori business experts, uh, Māori academics. Uh, more importantly for me is those Māori uh, communities coming on to engage and saying, no, 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 that's not what we want. That's what you think we want, but we want something different. Uh, what I've been doing is actually talking to uh, others about coming along who, aren't, who don't come from New Zealand and saying, you need to come to this conference to understand what direction Māori ought to be taking. So I think, you know, that's, if you said to me in a nutshell, uh, what Te Pairoa 2040 is about, that's what I believe it's about. Got it.